A Colorado talk radio host who called for a boycott of COVID-19 vaccines has died of COVID-19. Bob Enyart has been on radio podcasts and cable TV dating back decades in our state. He was known for mocking AIDS victims as he read their obituaries aloud on television. Enyart more recently said that he opposed the COVID vaccines because of the fetal stem cells used in their development and testing. Declaring a religious exemption to the COVID-19 vaccines due to that link with those decades old fetal stem cell line. It would also mean boycotting most common medications these days. Steve Stager explains. The fetal stem cell lines are cell lines that are used in um, scientific research and particularly in product development and testing. The cells at the center of this debate over the vaccine, they've been around for a while. So these are cell lines that were originally derived from fetal tissue, uh, from aborted fetuses, um, many of them back in the 70s and 80s. And, and they've been um, immortalized and retained and, and passaged again and again. Dr. So James Lawler is an infectious disease expert at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. There's no fetal cells in, in these preparations. They are the descendants, the progeny of these original fetal cells that have been uh, grown in, in cell culture and have replicated over and over. He's also a practicing Catholic. And I understand why people have concerns, but the bottom line is um, almost all of the medical products that we use have in some way been touched by research that's been done in fetal cell lines. Even Tylenol and other drugs you'd find on the shelf at your pharmacy. You would be hard pressed to find a, a lot of drugs or vaccines uh, that we use uh, on a daily basis, and even over the counter drugs that did not in some way have some uh, testing done in fetal cell lines. And that creates an interesting ethical conundrum for those folks who've rejected the COVID vaccine. To be intellectually consistent, people would have to essentially refuse almost all modern uh, pharmaceutical products. The Catholic Church and other faith organizations have come out to say the benefits of getting the vaccine far outweigh any ethical concerns about its development. Lawler agrees. Uh, all of that to me is something that, that my faith and, and the church's teachings seem to indicate it's paramount for us to control this pandemic, uh, to be able to reduce its impact on those more vulnerable. Lawler told me today that there are legitimate arguments to be made about how drug development in the medical scientific community could look for different strategies that don't use cells from this fetal line. But he said, for now, it truly is the standard. In fact, you're going to have a tougher time getting a drug approved by the FDA because the FDA tends to look for this because it's such a standardized sample. They mm -hmm. want to be able to compare data between different labs and different sources. I think for some people who are just now looking into this issue of do I have a religious objection to a medicine, the vaccine, they may not realize the box that they open up if they say, well, I'm not going to take the vaccine because of its link to fetal stem cell tissue. Well, then you're basically opting out of modern medicine. People of faith have been thinking about this question deeply for a while. Struggling with it for a very long time. In fact, in the Catholic Church's writing about the COVID vaccine, they say, this is not to say that we endorse the way that this vaccine was developed, mm -hmm. just that the moral obligation here is to try to end the pandemic, end the suffering of people who are vulnerable, and that at this point outweighs uh, the, the, the way that the vaccine was developed. That's where the Catholic Church came down. All right, Steve, thank you.